So today we're going to be changing a axial tool. Um, obviously, from our previous discussions, we've talked about radial tools come up and down in an X, axial tools cut in the Z around the axis of rotation. So we're going to call up our tool. We're changing a uh, double-headed Wally style tool. That being handle jog. Select the tool you want. You can see that it's this twin head axial tool. So first thing we're going to do is turn on the spindle rotation. Do like S100, M3, P12, block insert. You see that that unlocks the spindle motor. So we don't want to be changing these tools and fighting the spindle motor when it doesn't have any rotation command previously. Then that spindle motor is going to be locked, and we don't want to be torquing against it. So we've got our tools here. Um, obviously, you would want to, if the stick out's critical, you're going to want to measure that before you change them. Um, doesn't matter, obviously, which one we change first, as long as we're changing the tool that we. What the hell? Okay, I want to make sure that you get those three prongs over the, the collet nut correctly. And then I'm not going to have the wrench on the other side, so I've got all the gear train in between. I'm going to have the wrench on the, the tool that I'm actually changing. All right? Break that free. Probably have a second resistance there. Now this is the finisher. And it's already been used, so we're just gonna replace both tools in this instance. They're fairly cheap. So obviously you wanna break down your nut and your collet. Cleaned out our collet, we've wiped out the tool, made sure that the threads are clean where our collet nut's gonna see. Now we're gonna load our tool, so make sure that obviously the collet needs to sit inside the lip of the collet nut. 101 stuff. We're gonna seat our tool. Again, make sure that you're getting these three prongs completely in, all of them, right? So you don't want to get a prong in on one side and then have the other one sticking out and damage the collet nut. They're quite expensive. And then when you're tightening it, you just want to do the squeeze type method, right? So you get it where you can basically squeeze with one hand. That's the way you keep from dinging your knuckles. We're going to pull this off. Easy peasy. So we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. You can go ahead and pause it. Going? Okay. Same thing on this side. Make sure our tool is clean and everything's gravy. And our stick out is just to the reduction of the tool. Remember, do not go for the convenient one. Go for the one that's actually going to be torqued against, okay? And you don't need to go crazy on an ER-16. Like, snug is plenty good enough. Okay? So now we've changed out both of these tools. We need to set them. We're not going to change our X or our Y. In this instance, it's already set, right? It's not going to change. So the only thing that we need to set is our Z. And there's a little bit of complexity here. So we're going to pull our tool eye down. I want to be gentle with it, obviously. So these are uh, <coughs> 20 millimeters off of the uh, center line, I believe. I, I can't remember the exact distance off the top of my head, but 
we have two different offsets for two different tools. So this one is tool nine. This one, the finisher is tool 99. What you wanna do is take that Y value, that 0.866, I'll tell you how much it's offset. Yeah, these are 20, they're 22 millimeters off of center line. So we have a Y offset on tool nine, right, of 0.866. So right now, we're at Y zero, we're gonna go to our Y, and it's probably not gonna wanna play nicely because we're all the way up in X. So we're gonna jog it down in X because it's a compound Y, remember? So if you wanna jog it up in Y, oh, it would've played nice, Never mind. It has to move down in X while the Y compound is moving up. So we go 866 or 8, 870 is close enough, right? Because all we're trying to set is the Z. So we just need to get it to, on the tool setter. We need the tip of the tool to touch the edge of the tool setter here. So if we're jogging it, obviously we're gonna jog it in Z. We just wanna make sure that we're gonna be able to touch this side. So now we'll hand jog it over close, right? We want to make sure we don't hit this, so don't just jog it over and think that you're going to be safe. Get it close. Show this screen here, Levi, this offset screen. We need to make sure we have the correct offset highlighted, right? So if we're setting 9, we can't have offset 5 highlighted. I'm going to look for any wear in here. Doesn't look like we have any wear on the X or Z that would have been like excessive and telltale. So. We have our X set, we're not gonna mess with that. The Z is what we care about, and we should see a similar number. We wanna make sure that this updates, and we don't want it to see it too different, right? So we're gonna go to jog. We've, we've freewheeled it close, and then we're gonna go jog mode, and then negative Z, and we wanna see this number update. So we're about 20,000 different. We have tons of clearance in this instance, so it's not gonna be an issue. So now, the issue you're gonna have, go back to handle, is if you try and jog it down in Y, what's gonna happen? When I come over in Z, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna smack my, my tool eye, not on the eye, but on the body, and that will be a big problem. So if I just jog it over in Z, Obviously, we're gonna have a bad bad situation. So, how we set it is uh, we take the difference from our, our tool here to this tool. So we're gonna plug in, in our offset, the Z value for this tool, and then we're just going to measure the difference from here to here on our stock, okay? So to do that, we're gonna wanna go back to our Y value that we we wanted, right? So that 0.866 or something close there, all right? We're gonna jog it over. And this hasn't been, uh, this hasn't been like cleaned up since part off, but the part off is a pretty good finish. So we're gonna take our piece of paper, jog it over in thousandths mode. Obviously you don't wanna be in 10 thou mode or you're gonna smash something. Okay, now this is my known tool, right? There we go, we're at zero, okay? So look at the offset screen. 3.878, or I'm sorry, 3.588. 3.588, so we're gonna copy that into 99. 3.588, there was a couple tenths difference, but we don't care about that. So I overwrote that. We do have a big old Z value in there and we're probably just gonna, um, we're gonna check our first part, but I might leave that in there. I think we do have a goofy, goofy Z value there. So we'll go back. Um, now we want to take the difference here. So we'll jog it. Oh, sorry, one more thing right here. One thing I forgot to do. So we go to position screen. And we can see our relative position here, and we have all these values. We want these to be zero. We want to see how different we are in Z, right? So Z is gonna be our W. So to change that to zero, we go origin, all axes, right? And now 
everything's clean up here and I can see my difference in Z without calculating 11.2084 minus something else, right? So handle, I'm going to jog it positive in Z, right? And then I'm gonna go negative in Y. Make sure that you jogged it far enough that you're not gonna smack this when you come down, okay? And we're gonna go to that Y negative 866 position. wherever we were before and then we're going to touch and Z so right there all right so we've got a difference of 15 thou or 15 thou positive in Z right so the tool is not sticking out as much which makes sense so we're gonna add 15 thou here 0 0.015 we're not gonna override it we're going to do a plus input, right? And it says 3.603, okay, right? Let's see. So because we had to go plus 15 thou and Z, that tool is sticking out longer from center line, right? That, I, I might have just confused you on the, on the camera there. So it's gonna say 3.603, input okay, execute, right? Jog it away in Z, and then you're gonna wanna home it. So reference return, right? You gotta home in Y first, then you go X, then you go B, and you go Z, okay? So now we're home, we're ready to start our program. We've touched off both tools. Um, now that obviously we wanna check our first part off, make sure that that 15 thou wear comp that was in here isn't, uh, isn't a goofy programming issue. So, 